Still sounds good. Hey, welcome back to the Real World Garage. Here we go. Hey, welcome back to the Real World Garage. We're here with my 1954 Ford. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. 54 Ford. Why do I see Corvette flags and 327 on this side? Well, let's go take a look. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. 1965 Corvette 327. It's just a mild little motor. It's nothing, you know, nothing too extreme. Got a little Edelbrock carburetor sitting on it. Got the you know, Edelbrock performer intake on it. Of course, chrome one wire alternator. It does have AC. But we seem to be missing something right now. Something that goes like right in here. Oh, yeah. Radiator. Well, as with anything, time and vibration gets to it. And so, well, I had to pull the radiator out of it. Every time we would run it, it would sling coolant over the top of the motor. So I got tired of cleaning that mess up. And uh, everything under here is, I might have to get some light for you to see. And we'll get it out in the daylight and get some good video of it. But uh, everything under here is uh, pretty well clean and shiny. This is a uh, full restoration car. But, uh, and you can well see paint shines like a brand new dime and this paint job is probably 16 or 17 years old it's not without its issues but it still it still shines boy and it's not for a lack of being driven we drive we have driven this car i till this radiator problem we used to drive this car really regular but the last year it's only been driven enough to keep the battery up and i would some of that was actually putting a battery charger on, to be honest. But the uh, here's the radiator. We took it to a local radiator shop, get them to uh, fix over here on this seam right over here. The uh, seam was uh, spewing pretty badly, and uh, this side over here was starting to leak too. And uh, I had done a zip tie drag event, had gone just for the car show portion of it and we had driven to Memphis and it was leaking and well we did what you had I did what I had to do and cleaned it with some brake clean and slapped some JB weld on it and away we went but anyway this radiator is an amalgamation of about three different 54 Ford radiators um, we used the six cylinder mounting brackets and uh, we ended up ordering a new core. So that's a four core radiator. Um, back when we first built the car and we added air conditioner and we added, of course we added this 327 and added different accessories and everything. Car would not, um, wouldn't stay cool in traffic. Um, you'd be sitting in traffic and fans running and couldn't get it cool. So we did everything under the sun we could think. And finally the radiator shop said we needed to upgrade to the four core and that almost fixed all of it. Um, once we upgraded to the four core, it would sit in traffic for a little while. But if you were in a parade type situation, you couldn't continue to run the air conditioner. You'd had to shut it off. So I came up, did a little research. This was, I don't know how many years ago now. It's at least 10 or 15 years ago. I think it's about 15 years ago. I found that fan. And it's by, I don't even know if they're still in business. I would think they are. They're, I feel like they're uh, um, out of Memphis. Cooling components. And that fan right there fits com with shroud and fits completely over the front of the radiator. And it works well. So... Anyway, that's a quick that's a quick talking tour on a little bit about the car. Um, 
hopefully this weekend I'll get to get back out here and we'll do the uh, radiator install and I'll go over a couple of things to be mindful of when you're putting the, replacing stuff like this uh, water neck and uh, we'll get back into it so I'm, hopefully uh, next time you see this video it'll be just a blink and it'll be about three days from now later Thank <laughs> you.